Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach vintage and antique lovers how to create successful antique businesses that they'll love. You can find me here on YouTube or over at my blog, Adirondack Girl at Heart. I hope you'll come on over and subscribe. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some of my recent vintage finds from thrift stores, a flea market, and a couple of estate sales. And I have a lot of stuff to go through. <laughs> so let's jump right in. I'm going to start with one of my favorites. I picked this up at the flea market. If you follow me on Instagram, then you, you've you seen a few of these and I asked you to vote on whether or not I should buy them. This little ironstone pitcher is not marked. I feel like it's American uh, as opposed to English. And it was marked $5. I picked it up for four. It's in really good shape, no chips. There is quite a lot of crazing, but that doesn't really detract from its value. I will, if I decide to sell this, I will put 20 or $25 on that. Let's stick with pottery while we're on that topic. I don't, sure what this is. I, I picked it up at the flea market. Also, it was a dollar. It's not marked. It does hold toothpicks and people love their toothpicks. So I'm going to call it that. It's a harp shape and I will put $12 on that. I don't usually buy fancy or what I call pretty things because they don't sell great from my booth. I think I will try to sell this online, either on Etsy or eBay. It's made in France. It's bone china, you can see through it. This is silver, sterling silver, silver overlay, hand-painted woman right there. It was $2 at the flea market. I'm hoping it's worth $20, $30, something like that. Picked up a Kemper bowl, that's Q-U. I-M-P-E-R, made in France. Got a couple of things made in France this, this week. This is hand-painted decoration, common figures on this kind of pottery, and then sponged handles. I saw on eBay that a pair of these little soup bowls sold for $35. Mine is a little rough on the edge. Of course, I only paid a dollar, so I'm hoping I can get 10 or $15. Let's take a look at this. This is a German piece of Majolica. It's a tin glazed pottery that has these bright, beautiful colors that are embossed on the pottery. This is from Germany in the Zell on Harmansbach area, which is where a lot of this Majolica is from. I paid $5 for this because I thought it was beautiful. It's in perfect condition. The artist, I believe, is George Schmeider. I think this dates to about the 1960s or 70s, and I believe it will sell for about $20 to $30 on eBay. Here's a really pretty piece. This is a Limoges, I'm calling it, I will call it probably a relish tray or a celery tray, $3 at I believe I got it on an estate sale. It's it's a piece of Limoges made by Haviland in France. Haviland also, um, some of that family moved to America and so there's Haviland made in America. What's interesting about this piece is it was made for the W.J. Alexander Company, which is in Troy, New York. And I'm from the Tri-City area and Troy is one of the cities. I believe this piece will sell on eBay for $25 to $35. It is really beautiful, the, this rose transfer and then hand-painted gold gilt, 22 karat gold usually around the edge that is often really worn and this is in good shape. Another piece of Majolica, this is made in Italy. This piece is, is quite heavy. It was $2 at a junk store that I like to go to. And there's the Italian mark, very common Italian mark. Nice basket weave. I think this piece, also in really good shape, will bring about 10 to $15. Here's another pretty little piece. This is a salt cellar. 
salt would have been served in the bowl and each person at the table would have their own little spoon to serve themselves some salt. This was made in Japan. It's marked Nippon on the back, which is English at one time was used in place of Japan. It was $2. I think it will sell for 12 to 15. Isn't that a pretty little blue design there? And the last piece of pottery is just this little made in China probably urn. I think it will look really cute with a succulent in it. It was 50 cents. Let's look at some glass. Here's a ribbed cranberry glass vase made by Pilgrim Glass. This is a West Virginia company that went out of business in 2002. I think they started in 1949. I bought it for myself. <laughs> bought another piece a couple of weeks ago. But if I were to sell this, I believe it would sell from 15 to 25 dollars. And here's a piece of crackle glass. I have a blog post and a price guide about crackle glass on my blog. It is hand blown. You see the pontal mark there on the bottom where the glass blower's pipe where the piece was broken off and then dunked in cold water to make it crackle. This piece cost three dollars I think it's worth about probably the larger pieces. This is slightly larger. The pictures are very, very common. And I think this would bring about $15. Picked up two Pyrex mugs. This is called Old Town Blue. That's what that pattern is, Old Town Blue. And I don't make a lot of money off of Pyrex, <laughs> but it does sell from my booth, even though my booth is mostly farmhouse. And there's, there's the mark, if you can see that. Just says Pyrex, embossed Pyrex. And I think these will bring $10. Really pretty pink bowl. I bought this at a thrift store, a commercial thrift store for $3. And I think I can get 25 for that. This is a piece of early American. Uh, pressed glass. I have not researched the company yet. It's a really pretty floral design, really great shape. This is not popular right now, but this piece was three, I think I, it was three dollars and I, so I couldn't pass it up. I think I'm going to keep that for a while. To me, it's worth fifty dollars, <laughs> but I don't think I could sell it for that. And then I picked up two very plain apothecary jars, although the, the lids are nice. This is the bigger one. Here's a smaller one. They were $2 each at Salvation Army, and I might fill them with buttons. And I always pick up these nice large jars. They are uh, like grocery store jars. Again, I sometimes fill them with things and sell them filled. I also use them in my pantry. This one was $2.99. If I were gonna sell it, I would sell it for about $15 to $18. Okay, so that's the glassware. Let's look at, here I'll show you some blocks that I bought. I love these. It took me about 20 minutes to go through all of these. I found Adirondack Girl, ATK, ADK Girl. They were 50 cents each. So let's look at some metal things. This is a candle trimmer, candle snuffer. I paid $5 for it, and I think it's worth about, I'm going to have to research it, but at least $15 to $20. I'm hoping they are signed Himmer and Sons, something like that. I also picked up this very cool teapot. At the flea market, it was $5. To me, it it's, has the, the label, which says Tsubame, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a city in Japan, so this was made in Japan. I'm conflicted between calling it mid-century modern, which is what the label looks like to me, but it has a art deco look also, somewhere in the first half of the 20th century. I think it will sell for $25 to $30. I just think 
I just think it's beautiful and so nicely balanced the handle with the spout. Other metal things that I picked up include this tobacco tin, which I think will look fantastic at uh, Halloween time. I have other uh, product packaging in orange and black. I paid $3 for it. I think I could sell it. It's got the lid, which is nice, for about $15. Here's another tobacco tin that I picked up at the same time. It too was $3. This to me would look great in a farmhouse style decorated home. $3, I think I can sell it for about 12. A candle holder, not super old. I think I might've already shown this in a video, but I wanted to show it with the candle in it. I paid $3 for it, but I will sell it for, I'm gonna try $25 on that picked up this grater. It's kind of like an industrial. It's really sturdy and heavy. It was $3. I will sell it for 10, 10, around 10. And I got this bucket for free um, because the, the vendor didn't have a bag and he said, oh, take the bucket. Actually, I ended up giving him $2 for it. It's got some nice green paint left on it. It might have been a paint bucket originally, I will sell this for 12, about $12. Picked up a letter holder, copper and brass. I just love this. It was a dollar and I will sell it for about 10 to 12. Really cute lock for a dollar. And I picked up a bag with three wax sealers, wax stamps. One is marked L, this was marked L, and the other are, um, one's a fleur de lis and one is a clover. It was a dollar for all three, and I have some wax, so I think I'm going to sell them with a couple sticks of wax on Etsy for um, hopefully around $10. Picked up a little duck, just in time for Easter. Little duck mold. For 25 cents. I have a couple other things over here. I have covered almost everything except this box. I was just attracted to it and I had to buy it. It was a dollar. <laughs> and there was a free table at the flea market. This I really like. This is a bonded leather cover and inside it is a, it's divided by letter so it can be used as an address book it's got some ins helpful inserts there's a map of the world that opens up i'm going to um clean the cover and and probably wax it to bring it back to life love that and hopefully depending on how it comes out after the cleaning and waxing but i think it's like a 20 25 dollar item and I'm putting together some book stacks, uh, red and black, so I picked those up. They were free. Last two items are plastic. Here's a, this is a Fuller Brush Man, and there are Fuller Brush Collectors, so he was a dollar. I That was kind of just a, an experiment to see how well he would sell. It's a, he's a plastic letter opener. And then this pair of serving utensils were 79 cents at Salvation Army. And they were made in West Germany. I, these are mid-century modern, the style and the color. I have sold other mid-century modern plastic. And so I'm hoping to get 12 to $15 on that pair. And that's it for today and my vintage finds. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I would love it if you give me a thumbs up, if you leave a comment or subscribe. And as always, happy hunting. Thank you.